Our first example of how to use the volume expansion is a little cube that right here. We have a little aluminum cube that's five centimeters by five centimeters by five centimeters. That's of course the original dimensions before we heat it up. Let's say that we have an initial temperature equal to uh, 20 degrees centigrade. And let's say that we heat the cube up uh, to 100 degrees centigrade. And of course, the linear coefficient of expansion for aluminum is 24 times 10 to the minus 6 per centigrade degree. So we're going to find the final volume, how much the volume has changed, and also the volume change in percent. And then afterwards, we're also going to see how much of an error we, we will get in our answer by throwing away those small little pieces, those bars, when we expanded. Uh, of course, remember that the equation we're going to use, and so let me write down the equation, uh, V final is equal to uh, V initial times 1 plus 3 alpha delta t and of course remember when we did that we ignored that little that little cube at the end and the, the three little bars of expansion that were supposedly so small that we didn't need to worry about that but let's find out uh, if that's indeed the case so knowing this we're going to plug in the original volume which of course the length times the width times the height so this is equal to five centimeters cubed original volume times one plus three alpha Alpha is 24 times 10 to the minus 6 per centigrade degree times the change in temperature from 20 to 100, that's 80 centigrade degrees. All right, let's see what this is equal to. This would be 125 centimeters cubed times this quantity right here, and um, we'll go ahead and calculate that separately. So uh, we get uh, 24 e to the 6 minus times 80 times 3 plus 1 equals. So this is 1.00576 and then we'll multiply that times 125 cubic centimeters. So this is equal to 125.72 centimeters cubed. V final. All right, so it increased by maybe about a half percent or so. We'll get the exact percentage in just a little bit. Uh, first of all, what is the change in the volume, of course, uh, delta V is equal to V final minus V initial. And V final is what we got right here. That's 125.72 cubic centimeters. And subtract from that the original, which is 125 cubic centimeters. So the change is 0 0.72 centimeters cubed. It's not a lot of change, it's a small amount. And now let's see here. Let's find out what the percent volume change is. So to find the percent volume change, the percent volume change is equal to the change in the volume divided by the original volume times 100%. Okay, so we have the change in the volume right here, which is 0 0.72 centimeters cubed, divided by the original volume, uh, which was uh, right here, 125 centimeters cubed, 125 centimeters cubed, then we multiply it times 100%, and let's see. Okay, so 0.72 divided by 125 times 100 equals, and this is 0.576%. So a little bit over a half a percent in the change in the volume. All right, so now, how much of an error did we get by using this approximation equation, rather than just simply saying, let's calculate the change in the length, and then use that new length to find the new volume or final volume. So let's say we can say uh, that V final is simply the L final cubed, and that means it's equal to L initial times one plus alpha delta, two, uh, delta T and quantity cubed. So let's do that instead. All right, this is equal to five centimeters times one plus, uh, the alpha of course would be 24 times 10 to the minus six per centigrade degree times 80 centigrade degrees, like so. And then we cube that quantity right there. Let's calculate that. So 24 e to the six minus times 80 plus one. So this is equal to 5 centimeters times 1.00192, and then we take the whole quantity right here and we cube it. All right, so multiply it times 5, and then we cube it. 
and we get as an answer 125.72. I guess we had hmm, two significant figures here, two significant figures, but this was an exact value. This was 72000. If we add a couple more decimal places, we then get 14 centimeters cubed. And this here is the difference that we had from our original answer because this would have been 125. 0.7200, now it's 125.7214. Is that significant? Uh, it's very, very small. So you can see that by ignoring those two terms and just simply using the first two terms in our equation, we don't get a lot of difference. So I think I'm pretty comfortable to say this is a very good equation to use. We don't have to worry about those very minute little differences by ignoring a few little pieces of the expanded volume. So I would say this is how you find the volume, the change in the volume of a cube when it's heated through a certain temperature difference.